I get it. We all want to run faster and we buy gadgets and shoes to try and shave off seconds to our personal best. But what if I told you there's a secret weapon hiding in your fruit bowl this entire time? This paper has uncovered a common fruit that actually makes you run faster. So let's go through what this groundbreaking fruit actually is, how much you need to consume to run faster and how fast you can actually get. And then we're also going to cover if there are certain fruits that make you run faster, is it possible that there are actually culprits lurking in your diet that puts the brakes on your pace? The magical fruit uncovered by research is the common cranberry, which has a range of health nutrients, including vitamin C, vitamin E, and fiber. But why the researchers are particularly interested in the cranberry is because it is rich in antioxidants, in particular, a special type of antioxidant. I'll get to that in a minute, but let's look at the study design first. The authors put 14 trained runners through three rounds of testing. I know 14 isn't a large sample size, but I'll get to more robust research in a second. Their first visit was used as a baseline, and so they recorded the 400 and 1500 meter performance. One week later, on their second visit, they had to repeat this process, but this time, they consumed this cranberry extract beforehand at 0.7 grams per kilogram of body mass. Round three was done 28 days later, this time after consuming only 0.3 grams per kilogram, but taken every single day during rounds two and three. So a runner like me, weighing about 70 kilograms, would need to consume 20 grams, and that equates to about 13 cranberries per day. The researchers chose to do it this way to differentiate an acute high dose response versus a low long lasting response. And after conducting the tests and crunching the numbers, what did the researchers find? Round two didn't show any positive benefits. So we can just forget about the acute response, but the 28 day trial showed a 1.5% increase in running speed for the 1500 meters a greater ability to buffer lactate in the 400 meter effort and a significant increase in muscle reoxygenation rates. Now, the cranberry is believed to possess this magic because of its high level of antioxidants. But how do these actually work? Think of your body like a bustling city and roaming the city of punk teenagers damaging the buildings with graffiti. This represents a process called oxidative stress and occurs during high level exercise leading to wear and tear of the cells. But antioxidants are the body's cleanup crew and armed with power washers to remove graffiti, keeping the body in tip top shape. But remember what I said at the start, the cranberry holds a special type of antioxidant. This is called polyphenols and not only remove graffiti, but leaves a special coating to prevent graffiti from latching onto the wall in the future. And there have been larger studies showing similar effects of polyphenols, like this systematic review, which showed if you use a supplement for at least seven days, you should expect to see a clear, moderate benefit to your running performance. But polyphenols aren't just found in cranberries. You can find them in other fruits, particularly berries, such as blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, and black grapes, and lesser so apples and plums. But you can also extend this out beyond fruits and find high concentrations in cloves, dark chocolate, and green tea. For example, in that larger study I mentioned earlier, the average intake of polyphenols to get these benefits was 688 milligrams per day, which equates to 200 grams of dark chocolate, 250 mils of green tea, and 300 milligrams of mixed berries. Even when searching through my pantry, I found my girlfriend's favorite chocolate, which after doing this research, I'm gonna be stealing a lot more of, but this contains dark chocolate, cranberries, and raspberries. But keep in mind that polyphenol concentration may depend on the form it's in and also how it's processed. So while these might be delicious, fresh and in-season fruits will always be best. And this is also why we should be cautious of cranberry juices and cranberry sauces. By the way, if you're enjoying running research like this, I'm doing all the heavy lifting for you and I'm sifting through about 50 new research papers each week. So if you wanna stay in the loop with the research to help your running, then hit subscribe and I'll make it my mission to deliver only the best and latest research. 
Okay, time for a few important warnings for you runners. Because while we now know that some foods can help you run faster, it's important to mention four categories of fruits that can slow you down. Number one are fruits high in sugar. If taken before a run, it will provide a quick burst of energy, but will be followed by a rapid drop in blood sugar levels, potentially negatively impacting your endurance. Dates, figs, lychees, and mangoes are among the biggest culprits in this domain. Number two will be fruits high in fiber. These are beneficial for digestion, but may cause gastrointestinal discomfort if consumed in large quantities before running. Raspberries are high in polyphenols, but also have a very high fiber, so be very careful. These also include pears, apples, figs, and avocado. Number three are fruits high in fat. These are usually foods like avocados, olives, and coconuts, which if consumed in high amounts before running, can slow down the digestion rate, which means diverting blood away from the working muscles during exercise. Number four can also cause GI issues and are fruits high in acidity. These include lemons, limes, pineapples, and grapes, and unfortunately, our new best friend, the cranberry. Luckily, it is the low dose, long lasting consumption that's proven to aid runners. So consuming high amounts before running isn't necessary. And if you are noticing GI issues during your training runs or races, there is a special way to train your gut to consume more food while avoiding stomach issues. That means more fuel and better race day performances, but it takes a precise strategy. And I discuss how to do that in this next video.